What is up you guys, Tony Vasquez Commando Athletics here and we are back with another video today. As you can see, we are outside, we are in the backyard pitch here and it is going to be perfect. Today we are working on our first touch and turning, so I'm going to give you guys three drills to do on your own. You guys can use a partner, you could be by yourself against the wall or you could be using a fine piece of machinery like myself. Let's get into the video, let's go! Alright you guys, first drill is going to be a pass, so come with me, pass, check your shoulder, take a touch, take it, you're going to take a cut back, any way, any cut, and then you're going to play the ball back, check your shoulder again, one touch, another turn, and then do the same thing, right, you're going to do that for three sets of ten, each foot. Right, you guys so this next drill is going to be a passing and first touch drill so it's going to be working both things and you'll see all right so we're going to have a cone right there your ball your rebounder or uh, a wall right there a person what you're going to do is you're going to take a touch and touch you play it out to the corner open up your body one touch it out and then restart for the third and final drill, we're going to have either a rebounder, a person, or a wall. And what you're going to do is you're going to play it to that person, wall, the rebounder, and then you're going to play it back to you in the air, some other way. Your objective is to use one or two, but preferably one touch, to drop it in and play. Right? So let's get it. Let's try it real quick. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to play the ball. It's going to come back to in the air. One touch. And that's it. Let's do this one more time. Game speed. All right. Yep. Ah. One touch. Just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a great way to learn how to use your first touch in a more efficient way. Your turning is going to be better. Your, your awareness is going to be better after this. And I know for a fact that team training is not going to be enough. You need you to be working uh, individually on yourself and you're going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.